Hey guys, so welcome to my channel, Glam by Suzanne. My name is Suzanne and I am a makeup artist. So I wanted to um, start this uh, video by just saying thank you so much for joining me. This is my very first video. Um, for those that are joining on here from my Instagram page, Boxy Charm Sneak Peek, Thank you guys. You guys are the inspiration behind me starting the YouTube channel. I've always wanted to do this and um, I've talked myself out of it. I've just been like a ball of nerves. I didn't know if this was something that I can even do, which is like talk to the camera and just kind of be able to do these tutorials. Um, but I figured, you know what? Why not? I really had such a great uh, reception through my uh, Instagram page, Boxy Charm Sneak Peek, and honestly, the women and men that I've met on there are just so amazing and so supportive. So I figured, you know what? Let's give it a go and let's give it a try. So um, the video for today is just a get to know me. It's going to be an opportunity to chit chat with me while I am actually doing my go to foundation uh, routine. So it's just gonna be foundation and contour and it's what I always go to. So um, what I'm gonna do is as I'm doing the get ready with me, I'm also gonna take some of the questions that some of my followers on Instagram had wanted me to answer. So it'll be a little get to know me, it'll be a little bit of makeup because who just wants to hear me talk, right? Let's just get a little bit of makeup in and also get to know me at the same time. So keep on watching. In case you guys are wondering why I'm looking down every so often, I have a trusty phone here and um, this phone has the questions that I pulled from my Instagram page and um, I'll be able to answer them as I'm going through my foundation routine. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna pull them up here. Perfect, all right, and um, I'm gonna start uh, right now. As you guys can see, I have my brows already done. I have lashes already on. I can do that uh, during the next video if you guys are interested, so comment below if it's something that interests you guys. Um, but I figured I didn't want this video to be so long. It's the very first video I'm doing, and I kind of just wanted to get down into it. So um, the very first um, thing that we're gonna start by doing is by prepping the skin. So I'm gonna start with my primer, and my skin type is combination, so I do get oily in my T-zone, and you could probably see it already. Um, and then I do have some dry patches on my cheeks. I'm going to be doing two different primers, which sounds a little high maintenance. <laughs> you don't have to do this step, you could just do one primer, depending on what's best for your skin tone but I'm just gonna do two. So I'm going to do a pore filling primer because I have larger pores in the area of my nose. So for the pore filling primer, I'm going to go ahead and use the No uh, Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. And the next primer that I'm gonna be using is my Tried and True. It is the Smashbox, oops, there we go. It is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and it's a primer stick. Um, if you could take a look at that. So I'm just gonna use this on the other areas and this is a mattifying primer. Um, you don't need a lot because if you do pile it on, it does tend to um, cut up pill a little bit, so you don't wanna do that. You just wanna drag it across the skin and then you're gonna push it into the pores. Okay, so I just finished applying the primer and I used these two primers right here, the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer and the Smashbox Iconic Primer that's mattifying. So my skin already le looks less shiny, which is exactly what I want. And I'm gonna take the very first question. Um, I'm gonna take the very first question that people left on my Instagram. So the very first question is, where are you from? So I'm gonna answer that in two parts. <laughs> Um, I am originally from Toronto in Canada, and um, in terms of my ethnicity, I am Eritrean, which is East Africa, so that's a little bit about me. Um, and as I am applying now my foundation, I'm going to answer the next question. The very next question as I'm looking down here is, 
what do you do so for work so what I do for work is I'm actually a registered nurse and um, it's fun it's great it's a uh, I do a little bit of everything, but I do right now bariatric medicine, which is basically um, people procedures that people have for weight loss. So that's what I'm up to nowadays. So the foundation that I'm using today is kind of my ride or die. It is the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid, and I use the shade NC40. So that's the shade there. I always take a little bit and I dump it into my hand. And, and then I work the product into my skin. So for today, I will be using, to apply the foundation, I'll be using the Luxie Airbrush Foundation Brush, which looks like this. Um, and I'm just gonna be applying it first and then I'll talk to you guys about the next steps. So the very next question that I had on um, Instagram that was posted is what made you start YouTube and that kind of, I did explain that just a little bit in my intro, but essentially um, I've always really enjoyed makeup. I've been freelance, freelancing as a makeup artist in Toronto for many, many years. Um, although I work as a nurse, it's I feel like I'm more passionate about makeup and it allows me to be creative. So um, I started the Instagram page initially as a way to kind of make create makeup looks, show off like makeup products that I've picked up either in a makeup subscription or products that I'm really loving. Um, but as you know, Instagram videos are short and you don't really get a chance to really connect with people on there as much as you'd want to in terms of like your tips, the items that you're loving or products that you're loving lately or any like reviews or anything like that. So it's a lot more sort of concentrated on what products you've used and the look that you've created, but not so much about the process in terms of how you got there. So this was, uh, YouTube was an opportunity to kind of be a little bit more, I guess, personal and talk a little bit about the things that I really, really love. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this, buff it in to my forehead a little bit. So what I'm doing is applying it, like I always apply my foundation in smaller sections. Normally, to be honest, I usually start with foundation first and then I do my brows but I didn't wanna take all that time in the video to do my brows on camera, so I figured I'll just do them off camera. Um, so yeah, so I just like to buff them in. I don't really like using too much product. I go a little amount at a time um, and then build up to the coverage that I want. So I usually end up with about a, a medium coverage or so after like the contouring and concealer and everything is done, it's probably full coverage by then. But for now, it's a little, it's a thinner layer for now. So I'm going to get right into the next question that I have here and I'm looking down again just to read from my phone. Um, the next question is what can you expect from this channel? So what you can expect from this channel is um, getting to know me of course. <laughs> like that isn't enough. <laughs> no, so what you can expect from this channel is um, obviously all things related beauty, to be honest, like I love makeup. I'm a huge enthusiast. Um, I love being able to pick up new products, know what's going on, be able to review them for you guys, chat about you, uh, them with you guys, show you sort of what the tips and tricks that I use on my own skin, but also what I've used on people that I've done makeup on in the past. Um, also show you what's new releases. So just an all around beauty channel. So that's what you guys could expect from me. So the very next step in my routine typically is to conceal these bags here, the darkness, <laughs> and then is to apply a little bit of contour because who does not want to look snatched? Come on now. Come on. So I am just pulling from my makeup desk the two items that I like to use sort of on the go. And again, these are my holy grail. Um, they're inexpensive. Uh, they're easy to work with. Um, as well as like I could go into like a full contour kit and get into it but on my most of my days when I'm just rushing I like to use the ColourPop Cosmetics concealer sticks I get one that's good for under my eye and the areas that I'm trying to highlight and then I use a darker shade around the perimeter to kind of give me a little bit more of a contoured look so I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Cosmetics, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer <laughs> in the shade Medium 28. So I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes here and, oops, gonna move that little hair out of the way. And then 
I'm gonna go over my nose, the bridge of my nose, like that. I'm gonna go a little bit here on the chin and maybe just a little bit here, not too much, because I'm not trying to create too much brightness there. And then I'm gonna go into the darker shade, which is uh, the ColourPop Cosmetics Concealer again, and it is in the shade Deep Golden, number 60. And the great thing about the ColourPop concealers is they're like $10, and on top of it, um, they do have like a great shade match um, on their website. So if um, you don't know your shades, you could actually put in like, a comparable shade and try to find your appropriate shade that way um, so that's the great thing about them and they're inexpensive like I don't get me wrong I love high-end makeup too like the best of us um, but it's always nice to have something that you can pick up that's not expensive either so I like to have a good mix and that's what you'll probably see on this page too is getting to see a little bit of everything. So what I'm gonna do with this is you can do one of two things. You can buff it out with a brush or you can buff it up, buff it out with a, a beauty sponge of some sort. So um, this is a pure cosmetics beauty sponge. <laughs> I've used a whole bunch of different beauty sponges. Um, and so usually I like to use a beauty sponge for under the eyes because it tends to not crease as much. I do have small, small fine creases underneath. Um, so this will kind of smooth those out and then I usually just buff out the perimeter with a brush So you can do a little bit of both you can just do one This is sort of the fastest way like if I'm getting ready for like an event or something special I'll probably use the beauty blender on My entire face because I find the beauty blender just sort of gives you Or like a beauty sponge just gives you like a polished sort of seamless look um, It tends to push the product into the skin and it doesn't make it look as cakey so I do really, really like that. So that already has put some color back into my face a little bit. So now that the perimeter is completely buffed out, the darker shade has been blended out and it just has left me like with a little bit of like a good shade around. Like if I really wanted to go in to do like a full contour, I would, but for purposes of every, every day, I don't really bother with that. So then I'm gonna take the beauty sponge and I'm just gonna tap underneath the eye and I'm going to blend this out. So already that's looking a heck of a lot better. So I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. So what I'm doing is just like a pouncing motion and I just continue to pounce along the under eye using the sponge. I wouldn't recommend dragging it or anything like that because then you're gonna get streaks. So you just wanna pounce it into the skin. Um, and as you're doing that, it's actually blending the product out. So. so now that that's done, I'm going to be using a setting powder to set my face. I don't want any creasing for under the eyes. So a setting powder, the purpose is to set the, so basically it's just like in the name. The purpose is to set your under eyes, to set any part of your skin that you don't want the product to move on you. So I'm just gonna use the ColourPop Cosmetics. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So I'm just gonna use a ColourPop Cosmetics setting powder and it's just a loose translucent setting powder. Usually I'll just tap it into the lid and then from there I will just dip the, uh, be the beauty sponge in there and be able to apply it directly under the eye. So you wanna set the areas that are prone to creasing. You could set your whole face if you really wanted to, um, but normally I just try to get the areas that are really prone to creasing, which for me is under my eyes. Um, the laugh lines a little bit, not so much, but the laugh lines. I usually set under um, my nose and um, like above my lip line just because sometimes like if you have oily skin you'll notice that you start to get a little bit shiny there so you just want to set anywhere that you know you're gonna get shiny so that has mattified the situation already now a lot of people will call this baking as well so that's another term um, however I don't bake for long because I find that for me I do tend to get a little like cakey and I don't really like that look. So as soon as I put it on and it seems to have set, I just brush the product off. So this is just a bare brush and it's a tapered 
a brush from Luxie, um, and you can just brush it off. Actually, I think this is a tapered brush from Sigma. Yeah, from Sigma. Okay, so that is done. So that right there is like a super quick foundation and a little bit of um, contour situation, but I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder to sort of bring it back to life a little bit. And I'm going to use a bronzer just to make me look a little bit more glowy and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna be using the Pretty Vulgar uh, Bronzed Bee Sunkiss Snitch Bronzer. And I'm gonna go in with a Duo Fiber Powder Brush. So this is the Duo Fiber Powder Brush from um, Luxie. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of product and tap it off and go in around the perimeter of my face. And major key is to kind of make your forehead look as small as possible. <laughs> Cause girl, my forehead is enormous. All right, so now that that's done, um, usually I try, I do take a little bit of bronzer. Guys, if you hear a little bit of noise below, it is my cat, all right? So I apologize in advance. I do try to lock him out, but then he's just gonna make more noise, so. We're just gonna do the best that we can with him here. Um, so and then I usually take a smaller brush and I try to um, shade around my nose just to give it a more tapered or narrow appearance. Um, it kind of also makes your face look a little bit more angular for those who like that look. I personally do. Um, so you just take a little bit of product and you take the brush and you sort of um, buff it into the corners you wanna make sure you go really, really, really light-handed. Um, you could always add more. You can't really take it off. I mean, you can, but I'll show you how if you overdo it. But you always can add more. You always wanna go in super light-handed. The last thing you wanna do is look like you have two stripes down your nose. So you wanna go in very, very lightly. So that looks okay. Now, for example, if you overdid it, let's say hypothetically you went in, girl. You were just like, give me that freaking bronzer and you just, it was overkill. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, let's be real. If it happens, you could take some setting powder, um, just a translucent setting powder, and you wanna go over the area that you overdid. So you could take a brush, go over that area, and let it sit there for a little bit and then brush it off. And that tends to do the trick the most, for most of the times, all right? So, Moving right in back into the questions because I did let that get away from me. Sorry about that guys, the noise in the background. Um, I did let, let that get away from me. So the next question is, who are your favorite beauty influencers? Which, I mean, there are so many because for years before I started this and like Instagram and all that good stuff, there were so many beauty influencers that I could just literally watch. Like, so um, probably the ones that come off hand, like off my head right now are Crispy. I love Crispy. Um, I love Jackie Ina. Um, Jemmy, J Jemmy, Jamie, Genevieve. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, I also like, for the guys, I like Manny Amue. I think he has a good sense of humor. Um, and Rob Beauty Christie, she's freaking awesome. I feel like she's another really dope artist on YouTube, but she also does Instagram too. Um, and then obviously like your big ones, like Nikki tutorials and stuff like that for a really artsy look. Um, so yeah, so there's a whole bunch of them that I really love and that kind of inspire me as well. Um, so I'm just going to put some mascara on the bottom lashes cause I don't have any mascara on the bottom lashes. So bear with me. I'm going to pick up any mascara I can find. So I'm going to use the Grande mascara. Okay. So I'm going to get into the next step of my go-to look as far as foundation and skin is blush. So blush is kind of like a love-hate thing. Some people really love it. Some people don't care for it. I think it's a nice little flush to the skin. Um, I tend to gravitate to like peachy uh, shades for the most part because that's kind of what works best for my skin tone. Um, but there are times I'll go for pink or something a little different. But for today, I'm going to use, I'm kind of torn. Um, I have a couple that I really, really, really love 
but I think I'm gonna go with Gerard Cosmetics because to be honest, that's the one that I probably have the most and you'll see it's like close to pan. So this is the Gerard Cosmetics Honeymoon Palette and it has two blushes and a bronzer. Um, guess which one is my favorite? <laughs> this one is clearly my favorite and it's called Wifed Up. So I'm gonna take a big powder brush. So the bigger the brush and the looser it is, the more of like a light hand you can go in. If it's a stiffer brush, it's gonna come on really packed. I usually try to take really fluffy brushes for blush brush, a blush brush. <laughs> so I can buff it out and kind of give myself a glow without it being like a packed on streaked sort of color. Um, you could always like tap off the excess as well. And again, with this too, with blush as well, you always wanna go in a little bit lighter and you can always pack it on later, so take it easy, folks. I've seen some interesting, <laughs> I've seen some pretty bad blush fiascos, so you might wanna just take it in a little bit at a time and you can always pack it on a little bit later. So there we go. Um, and then the next part of my routine and no look is complete in my eyes without highlighter. Like, let's be real. Like, where would you be without highlighter? So, um, my go-to highlighter, I have a lot, to be honest. Uh, for the purposes of today, I'm gonna go into with what I've been using the most of, and right now, that would be the Artist Couture. This is their old packaging, um, it, but it's the Artist Couture uh, Illuminati shade, and it's like a really cute, like, champagne gold color. So, I am going to... I'll show you the areas that I'm going to highlight. Normally, I'll highlight the top parts of my cheekbones, my nose, the inner corners of my eyes, and my chin. Um, for some people, they prefer to keep it super light and not very glowy. For me, I go in. <laughs> so that right there, oh, so good. Um, sorry guys, that's my cat in the background yet again. So there we go, just a little bit of gold, and it just makes you look like you're rested, like you've come back from vacation, like you've just living your freaking best life. So that right there is everything. Um, you can always tap off the excess if you don't want a lot of it. Um, okay. Now a lot of people would be like, this is not wearable, girl. Like you've overdone it. So, but for me, this is like who I am. Like this is just who I am. I love highlighter. Um, there will be days, of course, like when I'm at work, I'm not gonna like overdo the highlighter because I work at a clinic, of course. Um, but a little bit of highlighter definitely makes you feel better. So I always just put some on the top part of my nose to kind of give it a really cute button nose effect. And then the bridge of my nose like that. And I'll always do the top parts under my eyebrow to kind of give it more of a lifted effect. And I'll usually do the inner corner of my eye as well. And this part doesn't need to be like, it doesn't need to be super precise. It could just, like the inner corner of your eye just needs to be buffed out just to make it look like it's attracting the light in there and to make your eyes look a little bit more awake. Um, so that is the highlight right there, girls and guys, <laughs> of course. Uh, so there we go. And I always just add a little more for good measure. <laughs> Not that I need it, but you know. So now that that's done um, and everything's sort of powdery, you want this to melt into the skin. So I'm gonna use a setting spray. Um, today's setting spray will be the, I'm just looking over here for it. Today's setting spray is gonna be the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Um, I've used many different setting sprays in the past. I love the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I've loved a lot of different ones, but this is the one that I've been going to as of recently. So you wanna just spray away from your, I guess a little bit further away from your face. I'm just gonna get the side of it as well. And you just let that dry. And I'm gonna try to pick a lip color. So let's see here. My go-to lip combo lately, 
There's a lot of Gerard Cosmetics in this video, actually. And no, this is not sponsored, okay? <laughs> it's just the products that I love. Uh, so uh, there were Gerard Cosmetics, um, Hydra Matte, and Everything Nice. It's like a, for me and someone that's like on this complexion spectrum, it's like a really nudie color. And then I'm gonna go in with a really, really, really pale nude from Pop Beauty. Um, and it's a liquid lipstick as well. And it is in the color Pale Baby. So I'm gonna go in with the Everything Nice Gerard Cosmetics first. And I'm gonna create an ombre sort of look. So I'm just gonna go in. So I just applied the Everything Nice um, Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick and what I'm going to do next to kind of give it a bit of an ombre effect is to tap a little thin layer of the Pale Baby Pop Beauty Lipstick in the center. So what I'm going to do next to kind of buff out these colors together and blend them together is I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to tap it in. So there we go. All right, so this here is my go-to foundation look with a little bit of highlighter, some contour, and some bronzer. So I'm just gonna go back into the last question on here um, from my Instagram page. So the last question is, what are your favorite TV shows? So by far my favorite TV show of all time, and unfortunately it's no longer running, is The Mindy Project. I can watch The Mindy Project every day all day i watch it to sleep i'll watch it on like all the reruns i've watched it i freaking love that show i wish they would bring it back um i also like how to get away with murder i also like um hmm, probably love and hip-hop because i love like reality trash <laughs> to be honest to be perfectly honest and i also like the wendy williams again just for like what's happening and what's trendy and random shit so i might get some hate for that but you know what it is i keep it real um so here's the completed look this is my go-to foundation routine and a little bit concealer highlight and some contour so um Thanks so much guys for staying with me throughout the whole video. Um, I wanted to let you guys know as far as the upload schedule, I'm still trying to figure it out. I do have a full-time job. I'm aiming to uh, do two videos per week, but at the very least I'll be doing one video a week just to start until I get my bearings. Um, I'll be asking a lot of questions and feedback from you guys on my Instagram page as far as what content you want to see what is the best time to post for you guys, all that good stuff. It'll be on my Instagram page, Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. I'll make sure to put it in the bottom. Um, all the details as far as what I've used today will be in the comments below. Please, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate for you guys to join the family, get to know me and see different makeup looks that I create for you guys. And please join me on my Instagram. I'm super active on there. I usually post there once a day. Um, and it also does feature a lot of um, BoxyCharm subscription items because that's kind of what my passion is. I love BoxyCharm. I started off as a subscriber years ago and it's something that I like to keep going as well. So definitely check out my Instagram page for that. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. All the best.